besides billion dollar homes, perhaps the richest thing about France is its cuisine. France boasts more Michelin starred restaurants and chefs than any other country. Mr. Riviera takes me to one of these famed restaurants, Elaine Lorca, where he tells me the unlikely story behind the most coveted title in fine dining. So you know that Michelin Guide is worldwide bible of luxurious dining? But do you know how it started? No, I no. actually don't know the story. It was actually two brothers of Mission family which had their company brothers were selling tires. Yeah, I know that they you sell know? tires, yeah. yeah. It was in the early 1900s, and for 11 years they had this company and it didn't work that well. So they had the idea to create a guide where you can find also restaurants and hotels all over France so people can drive to it and use the tires and then change them more often. And That's this guide, genius. yes, and this guide was offered to everybody who's buying new tires. So, recommendation from the Michelin Brothers to go to this restaurant, this hotel to try yeah. it all over France. What a phenomenal marketing and advertising idea. Yeah. In order to sell more tires, a, it turned into this huge thing that supports French cuisine, cuisine all over the world. Yeah but they're also making money, getting you to exactly. drive to all these phenomenal restaurants. It was a brilliant idea from the beginning. <laughs> mm. That's heaven. Yeah, it was really delicious. Thank you so much. My pleasure. But you know what? Before you leave this village, mm -hmm. saint bol de vence I want to show you something else. So last toast to our perfect... Perfect day. Yeah. Perfect trip. the south of France exploring the richness of French culture, and my blogger guide, Mr. Riviera, has organized for the revered chef of a Michelin restaurant to show us how he prepares one of his signature dishes in his famous kitchen. Bonjour. Bonjour. Hi. And Michael. Eric. Hi, Chelsea. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, so welcome to the restaurant Alain Orca, one star Michelin. Yeah. Enjoy to see you. Yeah, we're very happy we're too. We're so grateful to be here. Yeah, I had a cooking class uh, like a year ago here, so that's why I wanted really you to try it. Oh, well, I'm not a very good cook. You might have your work cut out for you. <laughs> I'll be the uh, difficult student. Yeah. Uh, so we prepare pambania. Do you know what pambania is? Pambania? No. What no? is it? It's a typical um, sandwich. Oh, it's a sandwich. Uh, come from Nice. Yeah. I, I feel like I can. Can do that. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah, do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now it's a recipe, it's a little bit more complicated. Oh, okay. Yes. I'm like, I pass. I'll pass that. I do that all the time. <laughs> but after, they imagine to put inside a lot of different things they have in the garden. Okay, so whatever you have, whatever's in, in season, yeah. that is what you would add to the yeah. sandwich. So now we can prepare. I open the bread. That's a baguette. Just look, you know after is. you do that, yeah. right? Okay. You're nervous. <laughs> So you're flattening out the bread. Yep. Okay. Because too much, too much inside, and that is not dry. Oh yeah. And you can eat this so, on the, by the sea, on the that, beach. It's yeah. tomato curry. Okay. Okay. Tomato so curry. you take tomatoes, you mix completely liquid, okay. and we made hot because when the tomato is hot, it's better to wet the bread. If oh, when it's, it's cold, hot. if it's cold, uh, it won't wet the bread. It won't absorb. No. So yeah. Okay. God, that and you smells put, like an amazing tomato soup. We put, put it, it completely directly. inside. Completely? Completely. Okay. How long do you keep it inside? Uh, about a quarter. Well, okay. Okay, yeah. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yes. To be completely very wet. Okay. Very wet. Okay. In I fact. actually... Okay. Oh, okay. I'm interested to see how this works. Okay, so you're just layering each of the ingredients. Radishes, onions, cucumbers, oh. celery. I love the olives. Tuna. It's like watching a painter paint. Yeah, exactly. You know? Okay, olive oil. Few salt. Okay. Wow. One more. That's a difficult part, I think. Yeah. Really difficult. Okay. So you're basically folding. Oh, and then he's and molding it, yeah. almost yeah. like it's dough. To press. Okay. But not too much. If you press too much, all ingredients It's going to go out to the side, yes. Oh, my goodness. And after, in the fridge. Super. Super. Now, we made it. So, this one? This we, one looks We nice. made it yesterday. Before. Yesterday. 
when I was originally. Wow. That looks really pretty. Yeah. yeah. You could really impress your guests with this. Yes, it's like a sushi. <laughs> it's a sandwich yeah. sushi. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. sushi. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Delicious. It's beautiful. Mm. It tastes so good. It's Michelin star sauce. Yeah, no kidding. I'm sorry, now I, I have to leave you because... You have to work. I have to work. To yeah. I yes. have to work, you know. Thank it was you. so nice to meet oh, you. so nice to meet you. And a good moment. Me too. You've improved my cooking <laughs> drastically, but I'm much better at eating. <laughs>